to say this thing actually really rips in the right hands i'm not really a racer i just started racing and this is my first one that i built i bought the frame the frame came with this clearish looking uh plastic and i printed these uh, uh the camera holder and the wings and everything and the battery holder i printed all that i had clear tpu so that's why i got the clear case but they, it also came with uh, kind of like a tinted black case. And uh, the reason why I wanted this is because I was putting LEDs in. I wanted you to be able to see through it. And it makes it like really bright. So I call this one the Neutron. Uh, because it's like a, a blue star. And one of the blue stars is, is a Neutron star. So... Uh, I built this thing to spec, and the spec is the tiny HQ tiny trainer props. Uh, it's a one, it's a 3.1 inch prop, and it's got a 8 point, uh, 1.8 inch pitch to it. Now the motors also they are spec motors. They're 1404, 4,533 kV, and then uh, you want to have a 3S battery. And I've got the Beta FPV uh, AIO 20 amp board inside. Now, you run a program called CAC. This is a developed program on Betaflight. And that CAC program gives you an RPM uh, limit. And the RPM limit is 37,500. That's that's the RPM limit. So they have weights on this thing. Uh, they want it to be 170 grams is the uh, minimum weight overall. And then you got the battery weight. Uh, they want the battery weight to be max 50 grams. I have to say they're not really pushy on on those weights. And uh, they they just want people to enjoy come out and fly and compete and uh, you can win a trophy so uh, I won a trophy and it was in a different class but I won this on the HD spec and uh, that was uh, the HD Avada but after that race I decided I want to build one and this is what I built and uh, I actually built this right before that race and I had a Darwin AIO in it and it flew like twice and burned up and I'm like well we got to rebuild this thing and actually make it fly and then I've been practicing ever since and I've gotten all right uh, but I'm, I'm having fun with it and getting better I'm not the best racer but you know I've only been at it for a couple weeks, so you'll see some of this on the analog video. I couldn't really give you HD video, and uh, you'll get the perspective that I see when I'm in my goggles, when I'm racing or practicing this, and uh, see what you guys think. But this thing is really durable. I recommend if you want to get into racing to get one of these things because they're really fa they're pretty quick. They're really durable. They're kind of like the tiny, uh, here's the tiny trainer freestyle. Give you a size comparison. 
this thing I've ran it in the walls and the concrete and I've done just about the same thing with this and it's just as durable so uh, check out the video coming up right now guys so you can see that I'm going around this track kind of slow I'm not the best racer at this and uh, but I'm trying I'm really giving it all I can do you know but uh, this next footage you're fixing to see come up here is Carter racing and Carter is way better than I am at this and you'll actually get to see what it looks like with the OSD in your footage, in your goggles. And you will see some of the values that the CAC uh, Betaflight program does. Alright guys, so here's Carter's video. guys so that is the tiny trainer v1 this thing rips around the freaking track i like it so uh if you want to get into racing 
this is a great way to get into racing because this thing is really durable I have rolled it all over the ground I have crashed it into things I have hit gates I've done everything to this thing and I have not killed it yet especially with the new AIO that I have in here the beta FPV AIO so if you want a racer that's going to last and be durable this is something to try out uh, I recommend this and I'm going to put links below for you to try all this out to check them out and everything so give them a gander see what you think but I recommend if you're getting into racing to do this all right guys thanks for watching subscribe and uh, if you want to support me this is my job now go to the links below and you'll see how to support me and uh, you guys are keeping this going thank you very much